What's up, everybody, and welcome to ITG Daily, the show that brings you the hottest in gaming news. I'm Drew Bosley. You can find me on Twitter at ArtisticGamer28, and that's the one and the only. It's Brad Davison. You can find him at Northern Nerdcast over on Twitter. <laughs> Brad, what's happening today, man? Welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show. And everybody, hit him up over on Twitter at Northern Nerdcast and say happy birthday, Brad. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're old. Welcome to the rest of us. Yeah. That's <laughs> How was the weekend, man? Uh, the weekend was good. Um, watched you guys, obviously, doing your 24-hour stream. And you guys Appreciate all it. seem somewhat... Uh, I recuperated. I, 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 you could, you could, t like the last. I, it was like the last forty minutes of the stream. You could just hear, like, it, you guys all sound like you had colds. Hey, hi, <laughs> like, it, dude. After twenty four hours, my body is not meant for that anymore. It, it really kind of felt the 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 twenty four hour life cycle hit me. Uh, I think we all kind of felt it, but you know, it was for a great cause. You can still go to inside the game.ca there and support that banner, hit that banner for big brothers and big sisters to help support. And there you can also find our daily show our weekly show. And as well as over the podcast services and TV streaming networks around the globe, Brad coming up on today's show, my friend, could quantic dream be working on a star Wars title? <laughs> that just gave me goosebumps. What's next for naughty dog. Is it uncharted or the last of us part three? And you won't believe what made the top five on Steam over the weekend. <laughs> uh, it just that one kind of shocked me too. Brad, <laughs> are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get going, man. Because a new Star Wars game from Quantic Dream is rumored to have been in development for 18 months. Oh man. Noted leaker Tom Henderson claims in a report on Dual Shockers that the game has been worked on for 18 months and has gone into full production, according to rumors from a French game development community. He also highlights that Quantic Dream Twitter account had liked a tweet that suggested they were working on a Star Wars game. All this means that, well, were these rumors to be true, the game almost certainly is a long time away yet from being anywhere near reveal. If you haven't put two and two together quantic dream most notably known for heavy rain and detroit become human and let's go way back brad i mean like ps2 days to indigo prophecy shout out to that or game Fahr fahrenheit however you want to call it but yep, yeah that's yep. uh those those were like that whole genre that they do is really heavy like heavy material heavy subject like and you're going from something where you're a detective in heavy rain to star wars like that would be very interesting like is it going to be like one of those subjective matters in a star wars universe like is luke skywalker going to go on a murdering spree and you have to solve the murders or something dude but it is it's it plays in to such a different twist for what we could see in a star wars like experience right like let's be honest everything we've seen has been a lot of run and gun shooting slashing right lightsabers this that and the other where quantic dream really focuses heavily on decision making and making the right choice and making well there isn't even a right choice in their game right there's a gray line that they kind of ride on and you pick one or the other and each one of these has a some kind of consequence right you're sacrificing something within the story to then get to the other side of that story and the way everything could end is all different dude i am pumped and to take note here as well their contract now with sony is up they're now partnering with disney so this could really align things in for another star wars title which i didn't expect quantic dream to be working on whatsoever but the 13 13 Dude, can you imagine we get 13? <laughs> Maybe they call it 13, 14, and then uh, <laughs> we can get something else. But it could be that that take on, you know, here's your choice. You want to go this way? You want to go that way? I remember in uh, Detroit Become Human, dude, you carried you cared for this girl, right? This little girl this entire way. And at the end of my personal story, dude, my character got a shotgun in the face, and so did the girl. And it was over, and I was just like, <laughs> I played the whole game and went, Oh, oh no way but that was my ending and then i talked to my buddy steve right you'll see him on the show every now and then oh, well he's always doing reviews with us now and his story ended completely different right like he lost i can't remember who it was i think he lost the guy like bright and early within the story and everything just unfolds so differently depending on who you are and how you play your game and i think that's what the highlights and kind of gets me really excited what quantic dream could bring to the star wars franchise 
Sure. There's a lot going on there. So we, well, like they said though, dude, we are uh, a long time out from seeing anything. They've only been in now when they just reached full production. We're 18 months in. Dude, we're probably still three, four years out. But we'll still see it before we see Abandoned. Oh, wow. Shots fired already. We're five minutes in this show and Brad's already <laughs> shooting. <laughs> I wondered how long it was going to take. Dude, I should have put well, a counter on the screen. That's what I should have. I should have. <laughs> Dude, we got more rumors going on in the world of Naughty Dog. Tweet from Naughty Dog Animator on motion capture set, uh, set gets fans speculating. Well, of course it does, but it really doesn't mean anything because no one knows a darn thing of what's going on, right? That's the, that's the thing. It seems that Naughty Dog is rather busy with new projects at the moment, with the studio working on its upcoming Last of Us Part 2 multiplayer, which we have yet to see anything about. Nothing, Brad. Absolutely anything. Are you a Naughty Dog fan? Like, um, I never played, like I said, but we talked about this before. I, I, I have The Last of Us. I haven't played it, but I like the older stuff. Um, I, It would be really nice to see, like, Jack make a return and, oh, like, man, an actual absolutely. return. And maybe that's maybe that's what they tease. Maybe you're going to see, Ooh. like, a new Jack and Ooh. Daxter or something. But, uh, like, I, I really like that stuff. I watched my friend play Lost, uh, The Last of Us, but just it's not something it, it's kind of like you talking about detroit becoming human and all this. like that's just yeah. not my style of game sure it's not that i have anything against it it's just yeah. not for me it uh it is definitely for me um <laughs> so i don't like the spookies but yet the last of us i man i couldn't put it down i played one and two love them both talked about it all the time two is, was my game of the year that year and i'm looking forward to the multiplayer because the multiplayer is so different and scott and i've touched on in the past too it it lends itself to the fact that you can go out and craft stuff like they were already crafting in their game for the multiplayer side of things before the battle royale was even a thing so now to bring this and tie this in we'll see how that goes so i'm like i'm waiting here with bated breath on any kind of news for the multiplayer side of things because now it's been a couple of years since we played the last of us part two the game is essentially for us finished unless they launch dlc for it which we have yet to hear anything about that at all they're really i think heavily invested on the multiplayer side but it just seems so weird to me that it's so far out but what are they working on next brad the question is they said uh, marianne hayden tweeted out that she's uh, excited to be back on the set now she did some motion capture she's a lead animator over there so she's done a lot of work she's worked on all the uncharted games and the last of us and she's wearing a last of us part two t-shirt so fans just kind of went up and whoa well what's this mean nobody has a clue what it means who knows what she's working on it could be a brand new game for all we know right but maybe i'm hoping like so is it another uncharted because the way it ends for uncharted which i'm not going to spoil because they're remastering the uncharted uh four and legacy to come out on ps5 which apparently brad you've not played shame on you man Shame. no no i played i played oh. uh i i, okay. I love and I, sh- I should have said uncharted i haven't uh. played the like i didn't play like the spin-off one you didn't play um, lost legacy but, no it just I, like i saw it and then yep. now that it's on and now that it's on sale i might pick it up but um i wait for the ps5 to come out it's coming out like next yeah, year it was, like early may, maybe that's maybe they maybe they're reshooting footage for Ooh. this like they had to put some stuff in that didn't hold up from ps4 for reasons i guess but maybe who knows or do you think they'll be working on an uncharted 3 because the way uncharted 4 ended or uncharted 3 i say this wrong Un- the next uncharted i guess I, i'll call it because who knows where we're going to be right now because uncharted 4 then you got lost legacy so really it would be technically uncharted 5 on the ps5 right will they continue that story but they're not going to continue there's a fine line in how do you kind of I don't want to spoil it, right? But it sounds like we could be on a whole other path. I'll I'll put it that way, if you know what I mean. So well, let's 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 do it this way. What if because Ben Studios has been working on something? What if they're working on Golden Abyss two? Oh, oh, and, or oh. or Golden Abyss remaster because you, the Vita obviously doesn't hold up anymore. But may, maybe they're gonna. I don't know. Who knows? It's just all you can do is speculate at this at this point. Maybe yeah. like what we were talking about off off air is uh, with with all these 
voice actors accidentally saying that they're starring in a sequel, <laughs> but not saying what the sequel Whoops. is. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Yeah. I mean, I really like Golden Abyss. I, I just, I wasn't crazy about the Vita controls, but that back it, and uh, rub, rub the screen. <laughs> throw your grenade on the back of the screen. No, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's uh, so I saw Herman Hulse tweet out over on Twitter that uh, he saw Ben's new game, their new IP, and it's exciting. So hmm. I don't think they have any tie-ins now with whatever Uncharted franchise they're kind of might be working on. Rumor had it that they were actually working on the remaster of Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy. So that bring them in, but hopefully that wraps that up for them in the world of Uncharted. And we'll see what's new coming out of Ben. Going off on another tangent here, Brad, Ben Studios obviously uh, had a bit of a troubled past with their last game. Uh, days gone which didn't really hit well and then all of a sudden everybody says hey we're not getting two everybody jumps on days gone and wonders where why we're not getting two well then the director comes out and says well you didn't support it the first time and then sony looked at that and said well there's no point in producing a new one right they had the new one ready to go they were looking to get it started right and then it just never happened so i'm curious to see where what ben is now working on will it be another apocalyptic game will it have anything to do with zombies or Dude, will we get into back into the siphon filter series? Who knows? Oh man, maybe, that would be maybe they're working on Splinter Cell. That's, <laughs> <laughs> they bought the rights from Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, getting wrapping it back up here. So Marianne did tweet out over on Twitter that she, yeah, she's back in the studio, which is nice to see people are starting to get back into the rhythm of things when it comes into the game industry. We're all starting to kind of get back into work a little bit differently now, right? Within this new normal wear a mask but but either way she's there who knows what's going to happen brad did you expect the next one to hit like it has i i honestly forgot completely about this title so yeah a little bit <laughs> so this game hit the top five on steam's best sellers i'm talking about gas station simulator <laughs> it rockets to steam's top five obscure simulation fans have found a new home in gas simulator gas station simulator a niche sim which has quickly become one of the best selling games on steam sitting comfortably at the number five spot at the time of this article sure the new home is a rickety gas station in the middle of nowhere that's desperate in need of a paint job but it's a fixer upper so uh man there are so many simulators out now and the developer drago entertainment is leaning into this heavily on this whole sim side of things and dude they just keep pumping them out and it keeps working so why not right if you found your own little groove why wouldn't you rock with that for as long as possible I think uh, once we're done this, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna look into that because I've, I've seen some stills. <laughs> it it kind of looks like the well the the one picture that I saw, it was like a character straight out of Grand Theft Auto, like just tattooed, oh. bald, and it's like yeah, yeah. Is this is this leading it? Is this like a, a prelude to Grand Theft Auto Six? <laughs> well, so you can actually download the the prologue and play that for free right now. Hmm. So there's a shout out. Uh, go check it out if you have any interest. I don't feel like fixing up a gas station. I'm going to be honest. I got enough things I got to do as it is. And that doesn't seem like it's all that entertaining for me, but I know a lot of people do love that. Like there was one, it was house. Do you remember house flipper? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, one. It, yeah. Right. Is that what it's called? House. It came out like last year. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Right. And people go oh, in and renovate all. a house and then they just sell it off and they flip it. Right. That was a, that was a game. And I was just like, wow, really? Okay. And then, then now we're getting a, we saw a lawnmower simulator. We now have gas station simulator. Like it's just job simulator <laughs> job. Okay. So I played job simulator. <laughs> I played that in VR. It is actually quite funny, but it's that's expensive. now. Is it really in VR? Yeah. Really? Well, is that, cause because it's a, a hard copy is expensive. Digital obviously is not, but they didn't, yeah. they didn't last long. So, ah yeah yeah it's uh it's they played on the comic side right the the comedy uh, relief side of things with job simulator and surgeon simulator that's where those ones came from and now we're getting into something that seems a little bit more um sim related versus the comedy side of things but yeah everybody right now apparently on steam put it at number five for best selling but either way uh brad we still have more troubles in the world of call of duty I don't think this is going to end anytime soon. Cheaters are already ruining Call of Duty Vanguard's multiplayer beta. Already. Dude, the game just launched. Uh, not even launched. It went into beta for people to test, hang out, and have a good time. 
is already seeing a disaster of cheaters. Call of Duty Vanguard isn't due to launch for another mo a few months yet, but already players are reporting that cheaters have infiltrated the game and they've been ruining that past weekend's cross-platform beta test. Dude, I just, I don't understand the whole mentality behind the cheating in a video game. If you suck, that's not my problem, right? Like yeah. that's, it, why ruin it for somebody else? And so I, I saw a clip on uh, Twitter about somebody complaining how this dude is cheating. He would literally like popped from head to head on his screen doo, 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 and nailed a bunch of people. And there's no way, like that was not a smooth transition. It was a snap to each one right and I'm, I'm just like man which is too bad and then so raven is the developer behind all the kind of working on this cheater problem and uh it doesn't sound like it's going to be a fix anytime soon but they are definitely working on it you know uh, somebody over at raven maybe you could talk talk to him and see what's going on i was actually going to say the same thing but i don't know if he'd have be able to answer because like he I don't just know designs the tool so that's right but i'm sure i'm sure he's probably in on all the emails on how this can be addressed and it's it's really it's like you said it's if you suck but i mean <laughs> i don't even think i don't even think it's like it's that i think it's i mean see this is another like i i i'll play the single player like i'm just yeah me too rainbow six and all that stuff like i not not against anyone that does that because you guys do it it's just that's yeah. not for me sure um but it, i i like you you see a lot of these professionals that they're so-called professionals that are doing this and then they're getting banned and like it's and they're they're saying that it's not fair it's like you're you're openly cheating on a game for reasons like it just yeah. it doesn't make sense no, so no. and it doesn't make anybody want to actually play because it, 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 you guys experience the same thing with people dropping out all the time when you're in the uh, middle of a game. Like it it hinders the whole experience and it just I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it makes people want to keep playing their games. No. So, uh absolutely. I think at this point uh Activision and everybody working on the Call of Duty franchise needs to figure out how to get these hackers out of here. We've seen them ban like 500,000 hackers in Warzone which is just mind blowing to think that's even a possibility, but there's that many people that are cheating. I'm like, you, you guys are pathetic is, is really what it comes down to. And they've got to figure out something because they're losing their community too, because of it, right? That we saw everybody on Twitch, take a jump and move over to apex because call of duty was just getting hacked and hacked and hacked. And everybody's like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. It, it's not fair. It's not right. And so they all left when you lose, a community right especially the size of what call of duty it had pulls in each and every time um that's something to kind of be a little nervous about especially right now if you're uh, in the world of activision <laughs> so yeah <it's>, yeah <laughs> right like they, they do they got a couple they got a few problems going on <laughs> they only they yeah, just just a few just a few just a few brad i I, I'm, I want i brought this next one in because i got a couple questions for you on this one right so here's a here's a Steam OS three leaks giving us a full look at the Steam Deck UI. The latest version of Valve's Linux based operating system, Steam OS three, is now out in the wild. This is the same system that'll be installed on every Steam Deck, but it's also of interest to Windows users running Steam on desktop and other devices. That is in part because Valve will be porting the Steam Deck UI over onto PC to replace the dated big picture mode at some point. Are you are are you in the world of PC gaming? Um, not like I I don't have like a big presence. Like I I sure. I will Dabble. game once in a while, and yeah, like I mean we me and my buddy were playing Dark Alliance and all that. We won't, we won't talk about that, but uh, uh, yeah, we we we'll hold it against like, you. <laughs> him, him more like my buddy more than me, but sure. Um, not like I'm more of a console, and but uh, yeah. like I I was looking at the Steam Deck just because it's the Switch killer, what they're whatever they're ah. calling it, which. Ah. But uh, I I it it looks interesting, but um, we'll we'll see. Like it's it just it sounds like basically what they're doing is they're taking their their thing that it's going to be on handheld and being like no you know what let's just throw that on pc <laughs> well so so that was my next question then are you gonna are you looking at the steam deck like hey this might be my way of playing my steam library because yeah, i absolutely. am i am like right i was talking about it over on the, our charity stream because somehow we got into the world of steam deck conversation 
and uh, oh that's what it was it was a uh, shout out to jam hammer games we were talking about the steam deck well they joined us on there to play schwip and, and they said are you guys interested i said i absolutely am because i spend a lot of my time right here in front of my pc whether it's editing or working on stuff for the show or uh doing the daily show for that matter right and there's a lot of stuff here but at the end of the day my my primary gaming setup is on my couch so if i can pull my steam library with me and then sit on the couch and still play those games like dude i'm a big city builder fan and if i can play that in a handheld mode on my couch or even go if they give me the ability to somehow flip that from the handheld onto my big screen tv from the steam deck right i don't know if that's gonna be a possibility or something they're working on in the future but just allow me to play on a bigger screen but still be able to sit on my couch <laughs> it's kind of my goal but i will still play my city builder on my couch in handheld mode because that's where i like to play the most but are you getting one I, if if I can snag one, yeah, it's I, I didn't go out and pre-order it or anything. I was yeah, I was looking at that, but uh, like right now, I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the the same situation with scalpers uh, um, that's bots. going on with PS5 and and the yeah. Series X, like sure ridiculous prices because everybody's gonna want it. And when's it supposed to launch? Uh, 2022. Um, okay. the first. Uh, there, let me see here. It says the Steam Deck will begin shipping this December, but mainly likely won't get theirs uh, until the first quarter or second quarter of 2022. So not for a while yet, right? Yeah. The, you get the pre-orders for December, and then everybody else is going to sit back and wait. Which, ah, it, it kind of bites, because I really like to have one. But yeah, I didn't pre-order one either, just because uh, I feel like I've been burned in the past on some of my pre-orders. So I'm holding off because now too, right? There's two sides of it. They say it won't even run certain games on the machine. So I'm like, okay, well, what do we get into? You, you basically told me we can pick up our steam library and take everything on the go. And then you get other people going, no, you, you won't be able to play this game. You won't be able to play that game. You can't play. I think I rumors had it. Like you can't play apex. Dude, I played apex on the switch. Do not play that game there that is that does not run smoothly it looks like uh garbage and you can't even see your opponents you're already dead by the time they see you and it's, it was just a it was, dude it was a giant mess like wow i couldn't believe it Corey and i reviewed it on the on the show and it was we neither one of us liked it but if i can again right it just comes back to dude i want to take my steam library with me you don't put it on the cloud you download it to a memory card and away you go so it runs natively on your machine which is great but it sounds like it's somewhat limited and that not all your games from your library are going to be able to make it over there. So, so it's kind of like, well, I'll wait till it gets tested out in the wild and then kind of get the feedback from that and then build my review. Right. So yeah, exactly. But something I'm looking forward to though, Brad is Nintendo is working on a new switch controller to be revealed in the next six months, six months, not really a long time, but sometimes it does feel like a long time. You know what I mean? Yeah, God of War. Uh, oh, well. Horizon. <laughs> yeah, well, Horizon's coming out in February. I can wait till then. That's yeah. not too bad. That's not too bad. But Nintendo's next Switch controller has been discovered in a new filing with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, also known as FCC. Nintendo does not describe the controller in any real detail, and the platform holder specifically requested the specifics to remain hidden until the controller has been officially announced isn't that something so they asked them to hold off quote the application contains technical information which may deem to be trade secrets and pri uh pri uh pri pro uh whatever man i'm going Pri-tary. blank Sorry. thank you i don't know why i stumbled i see that one it's because you're still while. recovering from your uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, say that yeah, thank you yeah uh, <laughs> if made public the information might be used to the disadvantage of the applicant in the next market placement so that's what Nintendo put right on their letter to the FCC. So they like, don't show anything. Please don't show anything at all. So we're getting a new controller, Brad. Speculations, though, are that they're bringing back some of the old library of games. And maybe they're bringing back one of the older controllers, but meant for the Switch. Thoughts? It could go either way. Um, the, the main thing that they need to address is uh, the drift. Like, I mean, that's, I, I even yeah. have drift in my pro controller. So it's, it's yeah, just yeah. not something that'll go away, I guess. But, um, I, I mean, if it's, if it's maybe, maybe what they're doing is releasing a new controller, cause we're going to see the switch pro. 
Dude, that's going to wrap up our show already. Everybody, thank you for hanging out with us. That was a lot faster than I anticipated. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm Drew. That's Brad. Follow him over at Northern Nerdcast, and we'll see everybody tomorrow inside the game.